Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Another gorgeous one here in Florida. I know, we're so spoiled. <laughs> so, a um, couple of things. First of all, I'm super excited about what's going on next Saturday. I'm gonna be exhausted after the day, but um, Saturday morning, I'm gonna go and take a class at Pride Strength Training in, in Tampa. I'm gonna talk about what happened to me yesterday, actually, in a moment, and then um, I'm going to have a shopping event there when they're doing their open house from 10 to 12. So if you're local, come say hi. Come see me. Come support. Love to see you. Um, and check out the gym. It's freaking gorgeous. Um, and then afterwards, I'm shooting over to Largo for the brand partner training for the savvy event that's going on there. And then that night, so the night of the 22nd, from 6 to 10 p.m., there's going to be a fashion show, cocktails. It's going to be so much fun. And I'm probably going to wind up going like this because I'm going to go literally from pride over there. And, and so it, it ain't going to be so pretty, but I'll be there and it's going to be fun. And you guys can experience some of what we experienced in Cancun. And it's just different. It's just different. It's something fun to do. Come see what we're all so excited about. Um, and I'll post more about that later, but I want to talk about what happened yesterday. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I went to this class at 8 a.m. My friend Kim, who owns the gym, she's amazing, like kindest person ever. She helped me get my start with Swing Fit um, when I was looking for a gym to put Swing Fit in. And at that time, by the way, I was in my best shape ever. Like I was ripped. And I would then have never walked around like this. Like this would never have happened. I would have been completely covered. Um, but um, anywho, so I went to this class and I was, I was like taken aback because like I knew, I, I obviously I know, I don't have any muscle here. I don't have any feeling. I can get injured more easily because I'm numb also in my scapula, in my back. I'm numb on my right side. Like I have, I got weird stuff, right guys? So um, the, <laughs> the trainer there, the guy who was doing the class, he's known me since then as well because Kim and I kind of both started our businesses at the same time and he was there from the beginning. Um, and he, he was like, Melissa, no. Everybody would do these exercises. Melissa, no, but you can do this. Melissa, no, but you can do that. Um, and it was so frustrating. I was so mad um, because I'm competitive. I'm very competitive. I'm like, no, that's not the case. And I got mad and, and then it got me thinking about something. And I think it's something that we're all guilty of on some level. First of all, we judge a book by its cover, right? I mean, when you look at me, you can see that I've got muscles. You can see these things. You would never think that if I try to do a push up, I will fall right on my face. I can't even hold myself up, guys. Can't even do it. Can't do it. And even if I hurt myself, I wouldn't know. So here I am, and I'm booking around like, woohoo, you know, thinking uh, I've got all this strength and all this stuff. Nope. Can't do it. Right? And, and, I, I, I look at myself and I'm like, really, you can't do that? Like, you can't do these things? Nope, I can't yet, right? So I think we need to learn from that, right? So just because you're beginning, maybe you're beginning your weight loss journey, maybe you're beginning a financial journey, maybe you're trying to get your credit back, whatever it is that you're doing, like, don't look at somebody driving the Range Rover and think they can afford it, right? I guarantee you wind, so don't want to shake this. So don't necessarily count yourself out, right? Don't count yourself out because you're not driving the Range Rover. Well, maybe you're not leveraged to your eyeballs either, right? Maybe that person can totally afford it. I'm not saying that they can't, but you get what I'm saying, right? So just because somebody looks like they can do something or looks like they can achieve something doesn't mean that's the case, guys. So don't count yourself out. Don't ever count yourself out because the only person that you're hurting is yourself right? The only person you're hurting is yourself. And why are you comparing yourself to other people anyway, right? Like nobody else has this body. Nobody else has put this body through what this body's been through, right? So it's very easy for me to, to openly want more because I know where my body was, but I got a different body now. And if you're on a weight gain journey, a weight loss journey, a build your muscle journey, a financial journey, a new job journey, whatever it is, you can't, you can't, judge other people, first of all, by what they're doing. And you can't judge yourself by what you think they're doing. Because the reality is you don't really know, right? Like, especially in direct sales, right? In the direct sales industry, we can look at, I don't know, everybody, right? We can look at all these people, can look at, and you can, oh, you know, they're, 
they're them, right? They're awesome. Like they were in another company or they were this or they were that or, you know, Melissa gets on these things and she does this and I won't do that. Ugh, please. That's just an excuse, right? That's trying, that's not even giving yourself any credit. You are amazing for who you are and what you do. Period. End of freaking story. So that's my spiel for today. Don't judge yourself by other people and certainly, certainly give yourself a chance to go through your journey, right? Because yesterday I realized, sorry, I'm getting hot out here, but I realized that like, and even, and Jeff, he said this to me, the trainer said this to me. He said, I get it. You want to do this. You can't do it yet. I will help you be able to do it. I'm telling you guys, the day I can do a full push up, we're celebrating. <laughs> it's going to be huge. Big, the big day because I can do a push up. Um, but anyway, today we're celebrating my father-in-law's birthday, Jesse's dad. I'm very excited. Um, I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm excited to see him going to cook dumplings, his mother's dumplings. I have to make him gluten free. So let's hope I do it right. Um, and I got real estate stuff going on. I got savvy stuff going on. And you guys next Saturday night, next Saturday night. Oh my gosh. 6 to 10 PM over in Largo for my local people. Come see a fashion show. It's going to be so much fun. The fashion show that we did in, in Cancun was like incredible. It was so much fun. It with there were cocktails, there's going to be hors d'oeuvres and it's just a good time. I'm literally probably going to look like this, by the way, this is probably how I'm going to look because I'm going to go to my class at pride. And then I have my shopping event at the, at that gym where I'm going to have savvy for things, people to feel and touch and, and purchase. Right. And then I'm going to go from there over to the brand partner training. And then I'll be there for the event at night. And I'm probably not going to go home I, I, just to pop in and out. So, um, message me, message me, come, it's going to be fun. If I've invited you definitely come if you can. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, and I'll put in the comments what I'm wearing. Um, I'll step back a little bit so you can see. Capris, um, pockets. <laughs> I'm gonna go now cause I gotta do a quick, quick row and then I gotta go sell some real estate. You guys be awesome. I love you. Have a fantastic Sunday and I'll talk to you soon.